You cannot change your future, but you can change your habits, and it is certain that the habits you adopt will change your future. Dreams are not what we see in sleep. Rather, dreams are what keep us awake. Those who are admirers of Mahatma Buddha should not ignore these divine teachings. Watch this video completely, otherwise you will regret it in the end. When we sleep, our body is like a dead body, and when we wake up, it is a new birth. With this new birth, we should start our life anew. We should give a new direction to our day, to our life. In the 24 hours of the day, the most beautiful, energetic and impactful time is the morning. And during this time, the habits you adopt not only affect your entire day, but also influence your entire life and impact your goals positively. The morning habits contribute significantly to your success and failure. Today, I will tell you about morning habits that, if adopted in your life, can change your entire life and help you achieve everything in your life. Your current habits shape your future. This is a story from the time when Mahatma Gautam Buddha was giving teachings to his disciples in the ashram. He was explaining to them about the morning habits that one should adopt in life to make each day and the entire life better. Mahatma Buddha then advised his disciples to wake up early with the first rays of the sun. When the sun's rays emerge, they provide energy to the entire nature, and we should also take advantage of that energy. A person who wakes up late cannot absorb the energy of the sun and remains dull throughout the day. Their whole day is filled with laziness. Then Mahatma Gautam Buddha, discussing the first habit, told his disciples that no matter how our past was, we should start today with positive thoughts. As soon as we wake up, we should express gratitude to everyone. We should thank those who helped us in our difficult times. We should express gratitude to that Supreme Father, the Supreme God, who has given us a healthy body. There is no deficiency of any kind within us. We can walk, talk, and hear ourselves. We can witness the beauty of nature. We can hear the chirping of birds and the sound of flowing rivers. Many people may not have seen this because their eyes are not there. Some people may not have heard it because they do not have ears. Many people cannot even walk because they do not have legs. We should thank the Almighty for manifesting that we are capable of doing our work ourselves. We do not have to depend on someone else. While many people have to take the support of others even to walk, they are dependent on others. We should express gratitude to nature for the things around us that have made our lives so beautiful. Here, colorful flowers provide us with fragrance, and there, rivers provide us with drinking water. Here, plants, pure air, and fruits are obtained directly from nature. We should express gratitude to all these. We should thank them. Together, they have made our lives incredibly beautiful. After that, Mahatma Gautam Buddha tells his disciples about the second habit of the morning, that after expressing gratitude, we should meditate. There are various thoughts going on inside our minds. There is a buzz of thoughts. Even if we don't want to, some thought or another comes into our minds, and it is due to these thoughts that we feel stress. We need to calm these thoughts, and we can control these thoughts through meditation. For this, we need to sit in one place and focus on our incoming and outgoing breaths. We need to be mindful of which nostril we are breathing in from and which nostril we are exhaling from, which parts of the body are our breaths touching. When we concentrate our attention on our breath, our mind will become centered and wandering will cease. When our mind becomes centered, new energy is infused into it, providing enthusiasm to our team and bringing joy. Meditation makes our mind healthy. All thoughts in our mind cease, and when we are about to perform any task during the day, making decisions becomes much easier. We make sound decisions and complete our work with full dedication. Our entire day remains stress-free, allowing us to experience a strange sense of inner fragrance, and we stay content throughout the day, free from any unnecessary thoughts. Meditation helps in distancing ourselves from such thoughts. After expressing gratitude and meditating, Mahatma Gautam Buddha advises all disciples about the third habit. Following gratitude, expression and meditation, you should engage in physical exercise. 
Just as proper food and water are essential for our body, exercise is equally necessary. Exercise keeps our body healthy and robust, and our mind remains cheerful. Through exercise, all parts of our body function efficiently and provide us with energy. It gives us the power to work, making it easy for us to accomplish every task without feeling tired. This enables us to complete our tasks quickly and efficiently without exhaustion. Exercise keeps our body healthy and disease-free. Regardless of the amount of wealth, prosperity or comfort we may have, if our body is not healthy, we cannot enjoy any happiness or comfort. If our body is afflicted with any illness, then wealth cannot cure it here. A healthy body is a sign of a happy life. The more we take care of our body, the more our body will provide us with happiness. And the more we neglect this body, the more it will cause us suffering. Therefore, it is necessary for us to exercise regularly. Exercise keeps us cheerful throughout the day and helps us easily accomplish all our tasks. Through exercise, we attain longevity and we appear youthful for a long time. Those who do not exercise start aging prematurely. After expressing gratitude, meditating and exercising, you should pick up a paper and a pen and note down your entire day schedule. Write down all the tasks you will do that day and allocate time for each of them. This way you will be able to complete all your tasks in a specified time and none of your tasks will be missed. And one more thing, keep in mind. Write about an act in which you selflessly serve a person or an animal in your tasks. Like feeding a poor person, giving grass to an animal or providing water. By doing this, you will attain peace. And when your day is complete, you will experience a different kind of joy. Today, I did a good deed. Today, I helped someone selflessly. Today it was a very good day for me. I did not miss any tasks. I lived very well today. Then, Mahama Gautam Buddha tells all his disciples about the fifth habit in the morning and says that after expressing gratitude, meditating, exercising, and writing down your thoughts on paper, you should read an inspirational book. When you read those inspirational books, you get inspiration from them. You get to learn something new, and the lessons you learn there will surely come in handy in your life at some point. We get to learn something new every day, and we should strive to learn something new every day. After reading this inspirational knowledge, you should talk to yourself. We always talk to others, but we rarely get the chance to talk to ourselves. Therefore, we should talk to ourselves because no one else can understand us better. We should pay attention to ourselves. We should tell ourselves that I am good, I am very happy. I can do every task. No task is impossible for me. I can overcome every difficulty, achieve the set goal, no matter what happens. I will attain it. I am not afraid of anyone. After that, Gautam Buddha tells his disciples that small habits in the morning will give your life a new direction. When you start your day with these habits, then every day will be better and you will be happy every day throughout your life. Friends, adopting these five small looking habits has a positive impact on our lives. By adopting these habits, we can make every day joyful and achieve our goals. As the sun rises, so does the opportunity for a new beginning. Cultivate mindfulness in your morning routine and let each action be a step towards awakening. Here is one more Buddhist story which shows how morning habits play a very vital role in shaping our life. In a quiet village surrounded by green mountains, there was a wise monk named Kavi. People knew him for his wise teachings about Buddhism and the happiness that always seemed to be with him, like a gentle breeze. One day, a villager asked Kavi, Hey, Venerable Kavi, what do you do in the morning that makes you so peaceful and happy? With a calm smile, Kavi said, Come, let me tell you about the simple habits that make my mornings great. Every morning, Kavi woke up early. As the sun started to rise, he sat quietly and meditated, letting the peacefulness of the morning surround him. In those quiet moments, he connected with himself and the vast universe. After meditation, Kavi practiced gratitude. With a thankful heart, he said thanks for the new day, the air he breathed, 
and the chance to live a meaningful life. He believed that being thankful was the key to feeling content. Then Carvey took a mindful walk. Walking through the village, he paid attention to everything around him, the leaves rustling, the birds chirping, and the river flowing. In each step, he felt connected to the present moment, staying mindful throughout the day. Carvey also showed compassion. Before having his simple breakfast, he shared some with a hungry dog near the temple. He explained that this act of kindness reminded him of how everyone is connected and how important it is to love selflessly. As the years passed, the villagers noticed a big change in Kaffi. His eyes were full of wisdom, he radiated peace, and his presence made everyone around him feel calm. The story of Venerable Kevi spread, and the villagers started following his morning habits. Over time, the once peaceful village became a place of serenity and joy, all because of the powerful morning rituals. Meditation, gratitude, mindful walking, and acts of kindness weren't just Kavi's habits. They became the things that transformed not only his life, but the whole community. Embrace each new day with simple morning habits. Start by being mindful, appreciating the moment as you take your first breath. Say a morning prayer of gratitude and let compassion guide your day like a compass. These small habits can bring a profound transformation, painting your life with the colors of joy, purpose and peace. Every morning is a chance to begin anew. Leave behind the burdens of yesterday and step into the light of today with a heart full of compassion and a mind open to possibilities. If you found this helpful, please give us a thumbs up to help us reach more people seeking ancient wisdom. If you're new here, subscribe and click the notification bell for more lessons on ancient wisdom. Thank you for watching and see you in our next video. To watch more videos, choose one of the videos that will appear on your screen now.